This is Edward and I'm casting live here at the Game Clux Seattle SC2 tournament. We're watching a game between two Terran players right now. Spawning at the bottom at the top right hand position, we have our current the one and only Fanatic MSIKR, this also known as Kawaii Rice. At the other side of the map, we have another Terran player. He is a 3500 Masters player, and his name is Picnic. Now, this should definitely be an interesting match. Uh, we do know Karai Rice. We've seen him before. Uh, not on the stream, but I mean, I think you guys should recognize him. He is on the top 200 list of the Blizzard. Uh, top 200 StarCraft 2 players on the ladder. And uh, this is definitely going to be an exciting matchup between these two high-level Masters players. This is also a Terran versus Terran matchup, so this should definitely be exciting. I mean, we all love Terran versus Terran because it is all... I mean, it, it's frustrating for the players involved, but it's uh, definitely going to be interesting for us viewers because Terran versus Terran, it's not like, you know... Hey, I have a joke for you guys. What is a Protoss versus Protoss match? A toss-up! It's a toss-up! Right, exactly. Okay, well this should definitely be exciting. It looks like Hawaii Rice opening up uh, fairly standard and his uh, opponent also doing the exact same thing. It is a mirror match at its finest. We take a look at the production tab. It looks like both players building the exact same things. So now basically all of the decisions from here on forth will affect the game and will affect what happens in this matchup. Okay, now Picnic doing some scouting over here, uh, trying to make sure that there's no uh, no sort of shenanigans in this general region of this, uh, and now he cancels all of his queued up actions. But anyways, well, let's see, both of these players, they're still following the exact same build. Should be interesting to see where this goes from here. It looks like Hawaii Rice now sending out a unit uh, to do some scouting for proxies or something like that. He hasn't scouted his opponent just yet. Let me take a look at his vision. No, he hasn't scouted his opponent. So he's a little more worried about cheese than any other sort of thing because, you know, Kawaii Rice, I think he's definitely confident about this uh, this game, even though, you know, Picnic is a 3,500 random uh, player. I mean, I think that he, he, he thinks that to really win this game if, against Kawaii Rice, uh, you know, he, he's thinking that his opponent might try some cheese because th that's like a really good way for um, lesser players to win against higher skilled players. But, he, you know, it's kind of funny. He just hasn't even scouted Picnic Space at all. And he's just going to come back knowing that there's no proxy or any sort of things like that. I mean, you, you see he scouted exactly around his base and nothing else, which is quite interesting. Very interesting here. But, I mean, he does get slightly extra mining time. Uh, because he didn't send out his worker as far for as long, uh, but definitely an interesting choice on his part. It looks like Picnic now teching up directly to the factory. It's going to be interesting to see if we will see a tank versus tank war over here, or if we'll see more of a, a more interesting build. Looks like Fnatic M Kawaii Rice is going to get his starboard very quickly, and I'm interested in what he's going to be doing with this. I mean, uh, it looks like he does have two starboards, so he might be able to open up with Banshees. That could be uh, very devastating uh, to another Terran player. Uh, we've seen it quite a bit, and you know, this is really why I like Terran versus Terran, because of the opportunity for different different types of plays uh, like this. And it looks like Picnic going to open up with some Blue Flame Hellions. This definitely should be interesting. Uh, we've seen this on the stream before, and Blue Flame Hellions, definitely, I love them. I mean, they're definitely really fun. And it looks like Picnic going to send in his first Blue Flame Hellion. We take a look at, yeah, he is supply blocked. And we take a look at uh, Kawaii Rice's base. He does have several uh, several Marines, but he has basically no scouting information just as of yet, so he doesn't even know that these Hellions are going to be incoming uh, very soon. And it looks like also Kawaii Rice going to be building a Raven first. That's kind of interesting. He is getting on Command Center, so it looks like he's going to be fast expanding. This is really an uh, interesting build here, and I mean, this is more of a build that I would say, like, if you're versing Protoss, you know, you get that Raven, you get that point defense drone, uh, and you can make a very effective uh, push against a Protoss player, but now it looks like Hawaii Rice just was scanned. His opponent will see this Raven in it. Quite, I'm quite, quite confused by the Raven. Any of you guys here watching have any ideas? No idea from the audience over here. Let's cut into the audience because, you know, you guys want to see us over here and <laughs> might be expecting Banshees, but still, uh, Picnic, I mean, he, I mean, so someone in the audience is saying he might be expecting Banshees, but Kawaii Rice has not scouted his opponent at all. 
what the heck is going on here with this build. Uh, he is getting a Viking now, uh, still building siege tanks and marines. It looks like he's just going to transition into tank Viking. Perhaps this Raven is for a point defense drone to block off opposing Viking shots uh, if there's a tank Viking build from his opponent. But still, quite an interesting build here, and it looks like a picnic with two factories uh, and one starboard. I'm, I don't think he's going for the Ayakoic build, uh, but sure what he's going for as well so it's quite interesting play from both sides quite confusing play from both sides now it looks like this is the first scouting attempt from kawaii rice he's going to check out this two cell naga towers blue flame is done so now these two these three hellions or as uh, kelly milkies would call race cars are racing on over to uh, kawaii rice's base and going to see if they can do some damage and they can roast these marines pretty quickly uh, vikings don't really have too much of a chance and they might be able to do some economic damage it looks like they're going to run in and they're actually just going to straight out run out and now Kawhi Rest going to split up his units and block off his ramps with his siege tanks to make sure that those Hellions cannot come in. And it looks like now Kawhi Rest going to uh, expand. Oh, it looks like some Hellions coming in from the backside doing critical damage to Kawhi Rice's face. Let's take a look at his Harvester count. It looks like Kawhi Rice down to 19 Harvesters. So those Hellions, these medevac, this medevac drop, wow, we even as observers kind of missed it. But I mean, uh, you can see that. I mean, those, uh, those Hellions at the front distracted everyone, including us and Kawaii Rice. And now he's down by 10 Harvesters. Not quite the best start for his game. And uh, I, I think due to lack of scouting and also uh, definitely luck on Picnic's part. And that's definitely going to be huge. Looks like Picnic's going to be transitioned. I think he's going for the I Echoic build. He has a... Uh, starport pumping out Banshees and another Starport pumping out Vikings, another factory pumping out Hellions. Uh, there's a conflict at the top. Uh, these Hellions trying to do some more damage. It looks like they may have roasted some Marines. Uh, yeah, it looks like Kawhi Rice without that many Marines over here. Uh, but Kawhi Rice just going to go into the standard tank Viking build uh, with Raven support. It's going to be interesting to see how he does against this Ayakoic build from Picnic. You know, I haven't really seen that. Ayakoic build done very successfully uh, on this stream before. I mean, we've seen Alternity try to do that Ayakoic build before, and uh, he hasn't really done it too successfully. Uh, but, I mean, it looks like Picnic. He so, okay, the Ayakoic build is a Terran versus Terran build where you get two starports, two factories, and then you pump out Vikings, Banshees, and Hellions as your mineral sink. And basically, it's to combat the uh, tank Viking sort of. Uh, the current metagame of Terran versus Terran because a lot of Terran versus Terran games you know people do complain how it's just tank Viking and so if you get more Vikings than your opponent take control of the skies then your Banshees can do a lot of damage to their tanks and do a lot of harassment and with your Hellions as the mineral sink uh, they can do a lot of damage to both economy and to the mineral uh, and to the uh, Marines that your opponent may have as a mineral sink. It looks like Picnic now going in for yet another medevac drop. However, there are two Vikings over here from Kawaii Rice. They should be able to fend off this medevac. Of, and yes, it looks like it does successfully fend off this medevac. Kawaii Rice might be able to kill this medevac uh, if he might go as well. And yes, it looks like uh, he will be able to kill the medevac, but not the Hellions are in the medevac, uh, which is definitely going to be a nice, nice save from Picnic. Now, both players having an expansion. Let's take a look at the economy tab again, and it looks like Kawaii Rice now catching up on economy. Let's take a look at the army tab, and it looks like Kawaii Rice actually with more army than his opponent, and this is definitely going to be interesting to see, because, I mean, <laughs> yes, so many Hellions over here, but I mean, you know, there was a lot of critical damage to Kawaii Rice at the start, and maybe some more damage to these Harvesters. Let's take a look. A lot of Harvester kills, and now uh, Picnic doing yet again a lot of damage to Kawaii Rice. He's killing a siege tank. Uh, and, oh, even some more worker kills over here. Now Kawaii Rice again down by 10 Harvesters. And that, I think, was a nice trade on Picnic's but However, he lost a lot of Hellions here, and you can see that his army is definitely smaller than Kawaii Rice. And Kawaii Rice, his supply count is actually still very similar to Picnic. So this is... I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what these players are going to do. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see. And it looks like Hawaii Rice uh, saying that he just took out, uh, seeing that he just took out a lot of his opponent's units, going to go in for a push, knowing that his opponent doesn't have many Hellions to take out his Marines. Marines are good at taking out Banshees and 
and of course Vikings, but it looks like two Hellions sneaking right past all of this army. One Thor out, but the Thor will be able to do a lot of damage to these Hellions. These Hellions are so quick, and it looks like these Hellions are just going to race around and perhaps kill four more workers. One worker kill. Uh, it looks like this Hellion died with three worker kills, so definitely a lot of worker kills again on Hawaii Rice's part, and Picnic, uh, his army is smaller than Kawaii Rice's, and uh, but Kawaii Rice is just down by 20 harvesters now, and it looks like he's just going to go in for a push and see if his army can't beat uh, can't beat Picnic's army. But it looks like now Kawaii Rice is starting to, you know, his army was in a bigger lead before, and now it's starting to get in a less lead. But he does have a Thor. A Thor is a very good counter to the Banshees uh, in the Iacoic build. Usually, when you see your uh, your opponent getting getting Thors, then you want to hit it. Yes, he did. And it looks like uh, now Hawaii Rice setting up his siege tank, doing a lot of damage. And now uh, there are two more defense drones. This is going to do a lot of block up. And the Thor is going to do a lot of damage to these Banshees. And uh, you see the Thor just taking out these Banshees, uh, just cutting through them like Swiss cheese. And the Vikings taking out the rest of the Vikings. Hawaii Rice definitely with an army advantage right here. Can Picnic hold on? Looks like the last Viking for Picnic is now going to die. And now Hawaii Rice pushing in with his siege tank. This is definitely going to do a lot of damage to Picnic. Let's take a look at the production tab. Uh, Picnic is going to get cloaked very soon, but there is a Raven over here, so the cloak is not going to be able to do too much damage. And it looks like Hawaii Rice packing up his tanks and moving in yet again. Going to take out one blast tank for Picnic. And we take a look at the army value, and there's just no a, a huge disparity. I mean, even though Hawaii Rice has a lot less economy because this. Uh, this army here for Picnic is a lot more harass oriented. It's definitely uh, harder for Picnic to hold, and it looks like Picnic going to GG out of this game. Well played, says Picnic, and it looks like Hawaii Rice taking this first game out of this first round. You guys in the audience, show your cheer. Go, yeah! Yeah! Exactly.